Hi everyone, welcome back to the Vegetastic Mum Kitchen. I hope you're all well. Uh, this video is following on from my last video, which was the spinach and ricotta lasagna or cannelloni, whichever pasta you choose to use. Um, so in that video, you will have seen me serve the spinach and ricotta lasagna with um, homemade potato wedges. Um, so I've turned that into another video following on from that one and I'm now going to show you how I make just simple basic potato wedges. So let's go take a look at what we need and it's not a lot. Okay so in this video we are using some potatoes, uh, obviously depending on how many you need, how many you're feeding, um, some smoked paprika, salt, pepper and olive oil. Okay, so I have peeled, washed and dried my potatoes. Make sure you dry them, you don't want any excess water on them. And then we are going to start and cut these into wedges. Try and aim for the same size. I'm not great at that, but you might be better at it than me. So just chop them into wedge size pieces. Mine always end up more like chips. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. There is no right and wrong way to do this, just however you want to do them. They're all gonna end up in the same place, so. Obviously, the thicker you cut them, the longer they'll take to cook. So it depends how much time you've got and I guess how thick or thin you like them. So that depends on you. As I say, mine often always end up looking like, <laughs> like a mix of wedges and chips. So. <laughs> Okay, so now we've chopped all these up. Some people soak their potatoes for half an hour or so when they're doing chips or wedges to get the extra starch out. I don't. I've never had a problem with not doing so. And the only reason I don't is because I don't have time. I don't have time most times to wait around for half an hour for my potatoes to soak. I have hungry children and a hungry husband to feed. So... <laughs> I put them straight in a bowl and we're going to get some olive oil and we're going to give them a good drizzle of olive oil. We want them coated quite nicely in olive oil. And pepper. Salt, and paprika. So, good coating of paprika. Clean hands, get them in there. And oh, don't drop a potato on the floor like I just did. And get all these uncooked potatoes coated in the oil, salt, pepper, and paprika. Like so. There we go. And now we are going to move over to the air fryer. Okay, so please excuse the noise. I have got the uh, spinach and ricotta lasagna in the kasori. So I'm gonna use the Ninja for these today and I'm gonna use the basket that comes with them and I'm going to layer my wedges on the bottom. I am gonna do these in a couple of batches 
Um, I normally do things like this in the cassori because the bottom is, is bigger, um, so you can get more laid in flat, but obviously I'm using the Ninja for this. So as I say, I've got some in the bottom and pop those in here. And I'm going to air fry these. Now to start with, I am going to air fry them on 165 for 15 minutes, just to start and soften the potatoes up. Okay, so these have finished that first 15 minutes and let me get an oven glove before I completely forget that this is hot and try and grab it and burn myself, <laughs> as I normally do. As you can see, they're starting to brown and dry out really nicely. So I'm just gonna turn these over, just give them a bit of a, a, bit of a mix up in there. So I can already feel these are nice and soft, okay? So now I'm gonna pop these back in. Oh, there we go. And now I'm going to put these back on air fry. And I'm gonna air fry these on 200 for 20 minutes. And when this beeps at me to say shake, as it does whenever it's halfway through something, it always beeps and alerts you. When it lets me know that it's halfway through, I'm gonna open it, give them another mix round, and then let them continue for their final 10 minutes. Okay, so these have just finished, so I'm going to lift the lid and show you what they look like. Oh, look at those. They look mouthwateringly good, and I am so hungry and ready for dinner. So let's get these on a plate and take a closer look at them before I dish them up, obviously, as you've seen from the previous video with the spinach and ricotta cannelloni. Okay, so, I have these out on a plate now, as you can see, they look gorgeous and they smell really good too. So I am going to um, just get one of these and have a look. So, I don't know if you can hear that, they are nice and crispy on the outside and ah, that was really hot. Why do I do it to myself? And in the centre, let's see if I can bring this up to show you, they are lovely, soft and fluffy. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this, even though I know that they're really good. They are really hot. Mm. So good. Just that hint of paprika that comes through with them is really, really nice and makes all the difference. Just that bit of paprika makes all the difference. Mm. They're perfect. As I say, perfectly soft and fluffy in the middle and crispy on the outside. They're simple, easy, and as I say, I don't mess around soaking them in, in water for half an hour or an hour, however long it is that people do it for. I never have done, and I always end up with perfect, soft centers with crispy skins on the outside that taste absolutely amazing. So have a go at these. Let me know what you think. Um, you can add other things to them. It doesn't have to be paprika. You can add garlic to them. So you can have garlic, uh, chips, wedges. They're kind of a mix between wedges and chips aren't they um, you can leave the skin on them as well which will make them more like wedges um, but the skins on mine were a, just a little bit a little bit past it so I decided to peel them today um, as I say have a go drop any comments below um, and I hope you enjoyed this video I am now going to go and everything's backwards it confuses me 
I'm gonna go and dish these up with the spinach and ricotta cannelloni that you've already seen. <laughs> and uh, I will see you in the next song. Take care for now. Bye.